What is up, my love enthusiasts? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today, <laughs> let me just actually start off and say, I haven't done a Dokkan Battle video in a while, thanks to the brand new Dragon Ball Z Kakra, and we've been playing it as well on the channel. And if you haven't gone so already, make sure if you want to check it out. Link of, link of them will be in the description below. But today, we're gonna be talking about Dokkan, not, not Kakra. Kakra will be uploaded in a different time. Let's talk about this. Let me say this right now. Holy crap. Um, fifth year anniversary is definitely on the horizon. Let me say that right now. Um, I'm going to go through everything that we know of so far and what we could actually expect from all of this. Now, after the very, very long maintenance that happened on JP, thanks to, uh, yeah, here it is. So we had a very long maintenance happen, um, basically, that was going on because of the uh, App Store was not because something about the latest version being delayed on the app store you know apple i gotta say this right now apple apple users you you messed me up you fucked me up but uh yeah there's a lot of good memes that came out of this i'm not gonna lie uh basically this is the original notice that we got about it thanks to the app store but uh yeah other than that everything has been resolved um don't know what could have been what could have happened but other than that we're all good but um basically version 4.8.1 has been released and launched onto Dokkan Battle right now. And let me just say this right now, it's a lot to take in because the fact that like not only we're getting we're getting like equipment, we're getting like we get to finally change the wallpaper of the actual card art, which is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm going to be showing you every all, all that right now. Like, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. It really does appreciate the channel. It does help the videos grow and makes me help you help me know that there's a lot of support back in these videos. Now, first of all, I do want to get off. We do have the countdown officially. The the fifth year anniversary countdown are all here. It is a seven, six, five, four. Which, by the way, these two being on here, I think, I, I'm not saying, don't, 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 don't quote me on anything. I feel like they might get easy A's. I don't know why. I feel like they might get easy A's. I don't know. It's just, it's a really good feeling. And then we also have three and two and one. So they are definitely going by Realm of God's theme for certain. And what this all indicates, who knows, but... A lot of speculation is that we're getting a brand new Vegito Blue and also a Gogeta Blue LR. Now, I'm already the type of homie who loves Gogeta, so I'm going to try and go for him first. If that is, this is all true, you already know <laughs> I'm going to go crazy like last year. <laughs> if you guys are ready for that, goddamn, I don't know if you're ready. But all this is all uh, a courtesy of I seriously, he's, he's great uh, just like linking all this stuff. But um, also we got the homie Hydros, who's actually been very good. So like, let me, uh, I could go down to the, what's going on right here. But essentially what's going on, what he's showing off is that he's basically showing off the uh, cards that are changed now. Like if we check right here, it's getting this brand new type of effect. No longer we're getting the diamond pattern in the background, which actually killed this art, by the way, because I did not know for the longest time that there was a Gogeta blue in the background, by the way, because of the fact that there was a stupid, like, diamond background just, like, blocking everything. I did not know that for a while. And then now it's it's finally it's 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 visible now. Not to mention we get this amazing art style that like flashes with you know the effects and then actually like the Super Saiyan glow on it. That is really dope. Not to mention as you can see right here, you can see like the the card is like flickering. And so what this means is that apparently that's like a card as where here's here's STR Gogeta as well an example of it, who's actually uh, doesn't have the diamond background anymore. Um, the actual, their icons will start flickering, meaning that they have, like, you know, this, like, brand new appearance on them. They're, like, this brand new, like, little sticker stuff on them. Which is really cool, because this is, I mean, like, this gives up a brand new layer. Like, I didn't like the diamond background. It's some cards that look good, right? It looked fine. 
In other cards, it looked kind of, it kind of like dumb. Now, get me wrong, I think diamond backgrounds are still pretty cool for some units. Like, this is definitely benefiting from the diamond background. I think this is one of the cards that is not benefiting it, the in future Gohan. Because, look at that. That's just, uh, I don't know, man. That for me personally, I'd rather stick with the actual diamond background on it. Because that doesn't, that's not, that's nothing to, like, write home to mom about. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? My brothers. But. That's what I mean. Like, there's some that are working well within. There's some that don't. Um, here's here's also cooler. Cooler is all right. I mean, cooler does that. I don't know. I don't know. It, it really depends on your preference. Now, I remember there was one card I wanted to see. Wait, is this a uh, the new ST? That's the STR Majin Vegeta Easy Eight. That's really dope. That's what I mean. Like, that is super dope to see that without the actual diamond background. Now, I remember... Okay, so here's this. See, this is what I meant about the flickering. The card would flicker when it, it indicates you that it has, like, those these new brand new stickers that are going to be put into the game. Now, I remember there was this one card. I need... I want to check out... This is Super Saiyan Gogeta. This is STR Super Gogeta. Physical Vegeta. Oh, by the way, Physical Vegeta looks really dope. I'm going to say that right now. Yeah, that's I I'm, I already said this once. I'm gonna say it again. That's some exercise. But I digress. <laughs> oh wait, first warning. I'm not following him. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so um, uh, I I asked this, and apparently no, his transformation does not have one too. I wish I wasn't a dumbass and not asked him before, but apparently the secondary card doesn't get the sticker, only the first one. I assume that's what I'm being told here. So I have no idea. I don't know no idea if that's uh, what's what's being shown to me. But I think there was an example of. Okay, well, no, never mind because this one does it too. Like here's here's the Goku the Goku go on the the. I'm, I'm mixing up my word. It's the Goku go on card that has the swap mechanic. This shows that like if you switch the card, they'll have the new effect as well. So, I don't know if I'm being a dumbass or, or, or literally Goku's like um, the Super Saiyan form does not have a, like a transformation new art style because of the brand new effect. I don't know. Maybe it's just not in the data. That's why he can't get it, uh, Hydros. But that's, you know, it, it's, if if they could do it for this unit, I think they could do it for this because I really want to see the Goku. But apparently that's not the case at the moment. Anyway. But yeah, these are the brand new things. And then also, I'm going to hop right into what I'm going to be showing you on Dokkan Battle right now. The us sketch you go to... Dokkan Sir Lurks? No, video recording. There we go. So, this is what also I want to show off. This, if we go into the new section, by the way, I'll show in the screen right now that I did get 10 stones. One from the logins, the other one for compensation, for the long way, and also for, um, you know, just for the maintenance itself. So, if we go to the news section, we get to see version 4.8.1. Uh, Jinro has a really good explanation video. I do want to, I do want to shout him out. If you do want to see the explanation video more into depth and what he talks about and what was translated about these, I'm going to give you a brief summary, but I'll, I'll link the Jinro's video in the description below. So, do check him out. I do recommend his video a lot. Anyway, uh, these are the brand new skill or basically equip skill equipments in the game that are being implemented. So we have a bronze, silver, and gold tier. Now it's not confirmed um, if they're going to be sticking to some of these effect based on the typing of the unit. Like you know how it units only get dodge. The only thing they implemented from it will be dodge, and it will get an extra more dodge. We don't know that. Not nothing is clear in stone yet that if an even if, let's say, as I said, in unit gets dodged for free, you could also get maybe more crits or more combos. We don't know, but this is how this is works. So, in how it hides is how this is how, how this is gonna be going in to get bronze, the bronze skill. You need to have your unit at UR at at least I think it's a TUR or UR. I don't remember from Jiro's video. It's either one of the two. Anyway. It's better off you go to TUR either way. Let's just say TUR. If you have to go to TUR, you would get bronze uh, skills. 
the bronze skills not only you will get additional whatever effects but you also get more added stats to the unit so this is an additional to not only increasing the potential of the um of the combos the additional or the evasion of the unit but also it's going to increase the attack hp and defense of them by how much we don't know don't ask me we don't know until until it's everything very finalized into the game now to get silver tier silver has to be at least at sa10 the unit so not only you need to get the ur or i guess i'm gonna say tur you are also gonna have to get your unit to sa10 to get silver tier and silver tier will open up a much more open branch to give you more even more additionals and stuff and to get gold gold will be unlocked once you have bronze and silver unlocked once those two are unlocked you're good gg you could go crazy so i was actually kind of happy about this because i i would think like oh to get gold you need to have the rain the unit rainbow i'm like wow that kind of fucking sucks but i get the reward for it but now that i know it's only has to apply if you do the ur status and also the uh sa10 status it's an easy it's basically easy orbs essentially but we don't know how it's going to be implemented we all know is that it's supposed to be a weiss a Wii's event that's going to open during the 5th year anniversary that's going to be opening up um who knows if it's only for a limited time or it's going to be for the duration of the whole game every time you go through it you would actually get some skill orbs to invest into the unit to for these new potentials we don't know how that's going to work yet again everything we don't know anything too much yet but the fact that this is actually happening it's very very good news and i'm very happy to see what i can do to increase my units attack power especially if i have you know some units rainbowed and very close to like i don't know gogeta blue and then he's gonna be doing additional even more additionals i'd rather take that but continue on we also have the introduction of the stickers like i said so we don't know for certain how we're gonna get more of these stickers they are in the game they are implemented into the game and there is a brand new tag i'll go through it right now but these these new stickers that are going to be getting into the game we don't know how dokkan is going to be giving them out or implementing them into the game who knows it's going to be like oh you know like there's special events or special like some some type of event who knows they're going to be giving out like a handful of these effects to put on your units or they're gonna be like hey um we're gonna have these units um have the brand new stickers and here you go they're for free like that we don't know we really don't know or they could go with the monetize it and then also we're gonna have to like buy the stickers who knows i did believe um let me see i believe legends does that i believe don't don't quote me i just start playing legends a lot more i think when it comes to like the becoming like a very grindy game and getting like equipment and like you have to like spend like you know your energies and stuff it's that's what i mean i think they might monetize it that way so you have to buy more energy who knows but who knows what they're gonna do, do doing with these stickers anyway and that's basically what we're gonna be getting it's not like the fifth the fourth year anniversary where we got implemented the active skills that was really dope that's still really dope i still love that mechanic the fact that we're increasing our units potential it's absolutely bonkers now if we go to the team we're getting a brand new a brand new area right here this is for when we actually put in the stickers of these brand new units right now all these units that i have right here are available for this and this let me tell you right now this is not all my units this is definitely not all of them i i can see units that are not actually part of this like let me see right here if i go back to no none there oh well this is a good place to show as well but let me go to my characters yeah there are some units that are absolutely missing from this from this list so basically they have a handful of units they want to give this special treatment too who knows that they're going to be adding more to it 
or they're just gonna be living to a limited time units that people would probably have or would actually want to put their little their little skins like right here i'm putting merch of masu i have no no stickers or anything that's it then nothing else and then if we go to potential system we already have brand new i want to see from a uh uh from a like a rainbow unit what it would look like anyway we have all of these but nothing is set in stone nothing in the game is available not even not no no bronze silver or gold tier and as we look out nothing as well nothing in here so basically all the new potential will be added to these little box what it seems like because i don't think they're going to expand this even more i think they're going to be adding like a tree like this into these small little areas once everything goes live that's where my belief is if it's not then oh well i don't know who knows if we don't know set and sell what's going on but these are what my speculation are for what's going on for dokkan battle but other than that that's all we have at the moment we don't know when the countdown is happening we already know that the countdown is literally about to start because they have these up in the data of the game when the count is happening we don't know we don't even have a live stream announcement so whenever that happens by the way that hits and also the uh oh that's actually pretty dope <laughs> the, uh, the goku black but we don't know when anything's happening guesses from people i've talked to and everybody who in the community knows we're probably going to get them on the 30th or the 31st of January. That's when the last two anniversaries drop. The only time, the only exception that never happened was with um, the Gogeta and Janimba for the uh, first year anniversary. I believe they were in February, but like a little bit early in February. But that's the only exception, I believe. I, if I go back to right here and then I look up uh, Dokkan... <sighs> Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta go really look this up right now. Gogeta came out on February 4th, 2016. That's when the anniversary dropped for them. And then, if we look at Gogeta... Gogeta's not... Oh, wait. Gogeta was not an anniversary unit. No, he was not. It was actually only the STR wreck. Nah, it's only str but that's what i mean the only time that's never happened it's with the uh str janimba uh str uh gogeta and also the um the, the physical uh not the physical the ink janimba <laughs> the beast janimba that's the only time they've never done that other than that um every anniversary that's been before at uh, the end of january so big hype happening very very soon i can't wait to see what dokkan pulls out other than that, guys, I'm your host, Sir Loafing. If you did like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. It does really help the channel a lot. And also, hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date to more Dokkan Battle content and also anything video game and Dragon Ball related. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a goddamn good one. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out.